Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Charles Face. In today's video, we'll be making a beautiful skirt with this chiffon fabric. So it's gonna be a three-step skirt. So guys, let's get started. The first step is to fold my fabric into four equal parts. Now for the length, this is 20 inches, 20 by 20 inches. So I'll go ahead and use my pin to secure it to make sure that I'm having all parts being equal. So guys, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Click on the bell icon to be notified anytime I upload a new video. So after securing it with my office pin, I'll go ahead and mark the skirts will be gathered so it will have elastic so I want the waistline to be bigger than my normal waistline so I'll be using four inches here as the radius round then for the length here I'll have 16 inches so I'll go ahead and mark 16 inches round If you want it to be exactly your waist measurement, just go ahead and divide your waist measurement by 6.28. If you divide it by 6.2828, then whatever you have there will be your radius. That is, if by the time you measure it out like so, that is what you'll be having. For this one, I'm having 6.5 inches. And the measurement is lesser than this but i want it bigger that's why i went ahead to mark four inches as the radius then if i take it around the radius if i measure it is actually seven inches so it's a bigger measurement so go ahead and take your measurements and mark it after which we'll cut it out i have to make use of your pin because it's a chiffon fabric, if you're not careful, it will actually shift from the right measurement. So I'm cutting three steps. And remember the three step, each one will be two inches big, uh, higher than the other one. That's the biggest one is this 16 inches. That is the second one should be 14 inches and the third one should be 12 inches. So that's how we'll take it. So let's cut it out. So I'll go ahead and cut out this edge and I'll remove my pin. This is the first circle, you can see. So I'll go ahead to cut out the second, fold in another one, fold it into four as well. Okay, this time I'll make this one 18. Since we are having 14, I want the first one to be longer than 16 inches. So I'll go ahead and make this one 18 inches so that the third one will be that 14 inches. I don't want it to be shorter. So I'll go ahead and fold in 18 inches of length. Fold it into four. I've pinned it through, so I'll go ahead and mark my four inches round. Then 18 inches for the length. I'm measuring the 18 inches from the radius, not from the tips. Not at this tip here, but at the radius line. That's where I'm marking my 18 inches. So I'll go ahead and join the lines together. Then 
And I swear, cut it out. Okay. Then I'll go ahead and cut out the radius line. I'll remove the pin. We now have the second circle. So we'll be cutting the last circle, which is 14 inches. We have cut 18, we have cut 16, remaining 14 inches. So guys, I will mark the 4 inches radius round. From this radius, I will mark my 14 inches round. Then I'll cut it out. So I'll go ahead and cut out the radius as well. So guys, I've actually cut out the three steps circle skirt. I'll go ahead and place each of them together. This is the 18 inches, 16 inches, and 14 inches so i'll go ahead and place it this is the first one that is the first circle layer so i'll place the second one on top of this first layer and see and i'll go ahead and place the third one so i'll go ahead and use my pin to secure this west line to make sure three of the pieces are together So guys, I've actually pinned it round. I use my office pin to hold it round. You can see the steps. I'll go to my sewing machine and sew round the west line. For the damp part, I'll be using locking stitches to lock it. You can use your that's your industrial weaving to weave the damp part you can see the three layers one two three to weave it around so i'll go now and sew it after then i'll show you the next thing i'll do so the next thing i'll add is my band i'll be using this band for it this two inches band so i'll go ahead now i'm using one and a half inches band that is for the width of the band and the length is 22 inches so i'm not going to sew through all the 22 inches because i'll have a seam allowance of half an inch or one so i'll go ahead and top stitch this is the right side of the band I'll go ahead and place my band under my seam line. If you want normal band that is not elastic band, you can go ahead and cut out your band the way you want it. But on this, I'm using elastic band for it. While you put it, make sure you drag it in order to cover up 
the circle area of the waistline. Now make sure I drag it. You no, know, it's elastic. I'm dragging it in order to sew through so that I can go around. If I take it around this, the elastic band is shorter than the waistline. So I have to drag it to cover up this area. So I'll go ahead and sew through. After then, I'll show you the final picture of it. Then for the damp part, now after sewing the band, you can see the three steps. This is the first layer, second layer, and the third layer. For this, I'll be using a locking stitch or industrial weaving for it. I'll go ahead and weave it. So I'll sew through the waistline, then I'll show you the final look of the skirt. You can see the band. This is the band. And this is the three layer skirt that we've just made. So this is the final look of the skirt. You can see this is the three layer skirt that we just made. This is the band. This is the band. This is the first layer, which is longer. Second layer, two inches different from the first one. And the third one, two inches different from the second one. So I top stitched on the band. You can see the seam line here. For the three layers i top stitch on it so guys it's very simple i hope the video is helpful make sure you try it out don't forget to subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon to be notified anytime i upload a new video give it a thumbs up share to your friends and bye until i see my next video